Hey guys, welcome back to TomZen.us. Today I am going to make a video showing you guys how to uh, make your own computer a web server. In other words, how to host a website off of your computer. And uh, this is for Windows only, uh, so if you're running Mac, uh, look forward to another video for the Mac. Uh, so let's begin. Um, let's go ahead and type in uh, www.wampserver. Com. Um, and uh, you might be wondering what WAMP server means. Um, WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, you know, just four uh, acronyms. Apache is obviously the software we're going to use to run um, the web server. So without getting too much into detail, I think uh, this is in French, but you can click the uh, English and um, so click on downloads and notice there are two versions if you're 32-bit um, click this if you're 64 click this <clears throat> and so since I already have it installed um, I'm running a 64 and by the way to distinguish 32 from 64 it's basically if you have 4 gigs of RAM or more, you're probably running 64-bit Windows. If, but if you're running less than 4 gigs, you're probably 32. Um, okay, so I already have <clears throat> already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to run it off of that. And notice it's going to install to your C drive uh, backslash WAMP. And I do want a quick launch, but that's optional. And then it's going to ask you where your default browser is. You know, I use Chrome, but you know, Explorer, meaning it's Internet Explorer, it really doesn't matter. So do, just click open. And would you like to install the new <coughs> WAMP to uh, home page? <coughs> click yes, it really doesn't matter. And this just leave it as default. And so you, have, you can have the option of launching WAMP Server 2 now or later. Uh, we're going to launch it now. <clears throat> and notice now there is this little icon green, meaning it is <clears throat> should be online. Um, so one of the things I like to do, because now we, would have, we have to um, set the password for the uh, MySQL database. This is assuming you don't have MySQL server already installed in your computer. If you do, please uninstall it um, and be sure to back up your MySQL, uh, any MySQL databases before you in in uninstall your MySQL server. So assuming you have a, uh, uh, you don't have any My MySQL server on your computer, click stop all services and then click again <clears throat> and then under my sequel the click box, on type in CMD, uh, well, not click on move over to on service on and then this click on command start prompt right here resume service and then navigate into your uh, installation directory uh, for us it was CD it was uh, C backslash um, XAMP so now I would have to change my directory And then now you would go into the bin directory, which I already did. Um, and in here you'll find a few files, um, namely Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Change to MySQL. And then you uh, go to the bin folder in there. Uh, actually, excuse me, it's, you have one more step. Uh, let's see. CD MySQL 5.1.53. And then you go to the BIM folder, <clears throat> and there's a lot of executables. Uh, what we're going to do is do this command. 
and now you're in um, the MySQL console. So what you want to do now is um, you want to use there's a database already in there that manages all the user and passwords and stuff like that. It's called MySQL database. So we're going to use the command use MySQL. R remember also put the semicolon after each command because that's how uh, MySQL operates. Um, and so now you want to select everything from users or is it just user? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so having that selected, um, and again, the, the, the command was select asterisk from user. And so now we have three selected. Seems like I have three accounts. And uh, by the way, it looks a little bit weird, and you can change that by adding the backslash G, but either way it will work. And now you want to uh, use this command. It's uh, update my SQL referring to the database, <clears throat> user referring to the table, and set password is equal to password, parentheses, and pass123, where user is equal to root. And the pass123 is basically where you're uh, going to set your uh, MySQL uh, password for your root account, which is your admin account. And so two affected. Okay, so now we want to flush <coughs> privileges and type exit and exit out of that. And so now start all services. My admin. And now um, Basically, where you, you can click the, on local host, you it will to, show you, know, you add, um, um, basically some of the basic database and, you know, the uh, tables, uh, stuff like that. It's the software you use to manage your database. And so let's click on that. And notice the access denied for user because <clears throat> um, one thing, and I'll show you. And this is uh, a must do for almost every new installation. You go to your uh, installation installation directory for WAMP which is for me C WAMP and you go into apps PHP my admin then you look for this file called config.ink.php so you want to open that and um, you know you can you open it with many things but I have this thing called note pad plus plus um, so I'm gonna um, open that here and okay so notice you know these are the conf configurations um, so you want to look for this thing called um, password and uh, basically right now it's set to nothing but your password is now pass one two three and then once you add that save it and then after you save it, try to reload this page again, and voila, you have successfully logged into your um, PHP My Admin. And um, in order, see if you go, if you try localhost right now, it loads up this and page. There you go. Um, you can change this. It loads up um, that. All, and, all uh, of your, you know, the rest um, of all of this uh, is after you get this set up, you'll see it's the green icon. And and for some reason, w -W the status says server offline, but you look for the so little green you know, icon. Change, and uh, so after this, you know, it's pretty much um, very much like a FTP server. If you guys used that before, you know, basically your C WAMP www folder is your root directory and whatever you put in there is going to show up at your default localhost. And uh, you might be wondering, well, how can I say, you know, get a domain name and, uh, you know, say uh, myname.com, you know, myname.com and get it, you know, after people go, go to myname.com, it gets directed to my computer. Uh, I will have a short uh, tutorial on that, so look for that. Um, so anyways, I uh, hope you guys found this video to be quite useful. Uh, please uh, post any comments you may have. 
uh, to this video and also please do subscribe and check out my other videos. So thanks again. That's all for, for me now. Look forward to my future videos. Thanks and I'll see you here next time at TomZane.us. Thanks.